Well, hey everyone, we wanted to send out one last video as we wrap up every word all year. You know, one of the things that we saw as we read through the Bible is that we need to carve out times of remembrance, where we need to remember what the Lord has done for us, both individually and collectively as believers. And so in this video, I want to share some of the great responses that we've received of how going through this initiative, every word all year, has been a blessing to our church. Well, first of all, let me share this. I have enjoyed reading through the Bible as a church and listening to it on the Dwell app to learn more about God's faithful provision to his followers. When I read the scriptures and look at how his followers continually sin in this fallen world, but yet he continues to forgive and provide for them, this gives me such hope. Here's another response we got. The wonderful story of God's love toward us never ceases to amaze me. God could have left all the ugly parts out of the Bible and just shared the good, but he didn't do that, and I'm glad because it gives us hope that we are not beyond his love and redemption. Here's another one. When it comes to every word all year, it made me stay committed because I knew the Lord was waiting to meet with me, and I didn't want to keep him waiting. Also, committing to reading this plan with my friends made for good conversation and discussion. I love this one. I committed before beginning every word all year that I would finish the reading. Sometimes I would fall behind, sometimes I would get ahead, but always remembering that my church family was participating with me. That was a great encouragement. It has been a wonderful experience and a first for me. I am so thankful. And then lastly, we have never read through the entire Bible together as a couple, but every word all year has been the best thing we have ever done. We look forward to going before Jesus, knowing that we have completed this great task. What an honor that will be. You know, one of the prayers that we've had throughout this initiative of Every Word All Year is that we will know God's Word better as we are exposed to His Word, but also through His Word that we will know Him better. And from these responses and also other feedback that we've gotten throughout the year, the Lord has been faithful and answered that prayer. Now. As we end every word all year and we look forward to next year, I would encourage you to build on the foundation that you've laid this past year, all the hard work that you've done. And so if you want to go back through the Bible, you can subscribe to YouTube. All the videos will be there and you can work your way through the Bible reading. Or it may be that you want to go at a slower pace, maybe work your way through just the New Testament. Or maybe there was a book that you read that you want to go back to. You know, for example, when I was reading through Isaiah, it was kind of painful that we had to go through it so fast. And so that's a book that I'm going to go back to and read at a much slower pace. So whatever it may be for you, again, I would just encourage you to keep building on this foundation and reading God's Word. And that you will get to know His Word better and get to know Him better. And so as we end, I want to pray that one last time over you. So would you pray with me? Lord, we thank you for how you've blessed us this past year. Lord, we thank you how you've been faithful. Lord, that we know your word better. And Lord, also that we know you better. And Lord, we ask that you'll continue to bless us both, Lord, individually and as a church. And Lord, that we will grow in our love and commitment and grow in our faith because you are a wonderful God and Savior. Lord, we thank you for how you've blessed us again. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.